This is an electric vehicle charging station. And this is a home appliance. You can power anything with an EV charging station. Let me show you how. All you need is a circuit with a diode, two resistors and a switch. This is compliant with the EV charging standards. If you're in the United States or Japan, you will have this type of connector. Mind the pins, you will connect the previous circuit to control pilot and protective earth. This is the circuit on board the electric vehicle to tell the charging station that it's connected to the charging station. And it closes or opens the switch to tell the charging station to connect or disconnect the electric grid to the vehicle. In Europe and other countries with three-phase grids, this type of connector is used. It has more power pins, but the control pilot works exactly in the same way as before. When the electric vehicle closes the switch, the charging station connects the electric grid to its output. By opening the switch, the vehicle is saying, Please disconnect the electric grid from me. Now we use an upgraded test setup. The vehicle connector connects to a vehicle inlet and instead of the multimeter we have an appliance being powered by the charging station. To work properly is to work safely. Here's a test setup with a vehicle connector, socket outlet and control pilot circuit, all contained by a box. And here's the most complete test setup in this video. As before, there is a control pilot circuit to simulate an electric vehicle and there is a socket outlet to power an appliance from the charging station. In addition, there are probes on the control pilot and all power pins to be able to measure safely the operation of the charging station. And if you're using a public charging station, don't forget that you may have to have an account and validate with an RFID card or app. 